Alright, so I'm sure a lot of you saw this video by Dexis in your feed recently, and before it makes rounds and spreads even more misinformation regarding uh, what is and isn't canon, here's my rebuttal. I don't like making response videos to harmless videos because it comes off as mean-spirited and leeching off of others, but as THE Kirby lore guy and number one Kirby right back at ya canon defender, I have to. Of course, nothing but respect to Dexis, the video was really well made and he is one of my favorite Kirby YouTubers currently. One of the throwaway arguments was, Mario and Link don't speak full sentences, yet we don't say they, they can't talk. Thank you so much for playing my game. While it's gibberish to us, he can have lengthy conversations in Mario and Luigi, and Link has response options longer than just yes or no, but that aside, Link and Mario are human, or close enough to human, and clearly over the age of three, so them being able to talk is a given. After arguing back and forth for a while, the video concludes that Sleep Kirby's pause description is proof Kirby can talk. First of all, there's nothing that says Kirby is talking here. The nameless narrator character in the pause screens has made comedic marks before, for a while, and in Forgotten Land, the deep sleep description, the sleepy character is someone else talking about Kirby. I just wanted to bring that up because I wouldn't be surprised if this narrator in the pause screens ends up being an actual character somewhere down the line. However, in Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, many of the copyability pause screens are almost certainly written in the perspective of Kirby. But is Kirby actually saying this? We already know Kirby can think in full sentences, but thinking doesn't equate to being able to actually communicate. This is non-diegetic storytelling. An example of this is in Persona 5, there are numerous times where music has lyrics sung in the perspective of a certain character, but this character isn't actually singing in the story. Same here, so we can't be sure. The info is canon. These are Kirby's actual thoughts, I'm sure about that. But is he act can he actually say these words out loud is still up in the air. Furthermore, if, these take, if we take these flavor texts at face value, that means Kirby has, according to the Kirby Triple Deluxe sleep description, Kirby has a mom, which completely goes against everything we know about Void Lore, ruins one of the best songs in video game history, means Kirby is a species, it implies that the Kirby species have genders and can be female despite every potential member we know so far being male or neutral, which implies that Kirby is, isn't biologically genderless but in fact identifies as non binary which in Japan has imagines a superhero clearly in his image being a strong muscular on the topic of Void, Kirby being Void gives even more reason for him to not talk. We never see Void talk, or any of the characters suspected to be Void talk. The only Void we see is Newborn, so we don't know how long it takes for Void to mature enough to speak even if it could. Something which surprisingly went overlooked is in Kirby's Avalanche, Kirby actually does talk quite a lot. But I'm glad this was overlooked because apparently, Kirby's Avalanche is actually just a reskin of Super Puyo Puyo, which means it has no connection to anything Kirby and just has Kirby characters slap on top of it. And unlike Super Mario Bros. 2, where those characters actually ended up becoming in part of the canon in Mario, this did not. A throwaway argument that wasn't in the video but I see all the time is, if Kirby couldn't talk, how could he say his wish to Nova? Dude, it's the Galactic Nova. It most likely is it was most likely made by humans and halicondrons who use two distinct languages we don't see anywhere else in Kirby aside machine passage. Nova can probably translate anything. But enough about Kirby talking. After all this time, I finally found Kumazaki commenting on the canonicity of Kirby right back at ya. I asked a Japanese speaking friend for this translation because there was none on the Kirby wiki. Not a professional, so just take this with a grain of salt. It's lengthy, so I'll just put it on screen and let you read it. Take this however you like, but how I read it, this says that Kumazaki actually wants to bridge the gap to make Kirby right back at you canon, but it might be hard to do due to certain set pieces and personalities not lining up. So it isn't something he can just snap into canon. He also does mention feeding fire for both sides, which makes sense because Kumazaki has been on record wanting to keep everyone happy by not confirming things. 
Google Translate gives us a more neutral take, but it's still not saying it's not canon like the Kirby Wiki would have you believe. The tiny bit they bothered to translate doesn't even say that it's, it's a separate continuity. It says they have different settings, which they do, as most different things do. Setting is not a alternate word for continuity. So, if these translations are to be believed, it would seem a little counterproductive for Kumazaki to make Talking Kirby canon, when that would make it harder to bring the games and anime closer together. Finally, I've seen some say that we need a new game where Kirby talks to finally put this to rest, but honestly, if Kirby talked in a new game, it wouldn't prove anything. The anime said that Kirby arrived 200 years too early, which is supposedly why he can't talk. While the amount of time that has passed between each game is unknown, there's enough situational evidence to say it's been over 200 years from the time Kirby arrived to where we are in the timeline now. It would take either a prequel game or a dev's confirmation to confirm that Kirby has always been able to talk. So, in the end, it's still up in the air. And that's how it should be. That's how Kumazaki wants it to be, where everyone can be happy with their own headcanons. Do go check out Dexus's channel, because while I think he was wrong this time around, he is still very intelligent, and I didn't even fully realize Kirby's height was retconned to two feet before I saw his video about it. So feel free to subscribe to him or to me if you want to see whatever lore shenanigans we'll cover in the future.